Hello everyone, let's talk about this integral here. This is a basic integral that does not require any special techniques like u substitution or integration by parts to integrate. And so if you just look at this, there are two terms here and then there are two different types of functions. And for this, we actually need to break up the integral into two and then we try to integrate term by term. Okay, so let's get started on this. First, we are going to write it so that there are two integrals. We separate this integral into two. And so the first one will, of course, have the first term as the integrand. And so we are getting the integral of 6 cosine of 3x. And then we have the dx right here. And then the second integral will be the integral of the negative 5 e to the negative 2x. And so it's up to you whether you want to bring the minus sign on the outside, or you can just put plus right here and then keep the negative sign inside the integral. It doesn't really matter here. It's up to you. So I usually will just put the minus sign on the outside so that we have minus the integral of 5 e to the negative 2x dx. And then according to the constant multiple rule for differentiation, when we take the derivative of a function, we actually do not need to worry about differentiating the constant. We can just keep the constant in the front. And then we only need to worry about differentiating the function. So when we go backward, when we integrate, we actually do not need to worry about the constant either. So all we need to do is to integrate the function, and then we multiply the constant to it. Yeah, so in this case, we can actually bring the constant outside the integral. So we are having the 6 is taken outside the first integral so that we get 6 times integral of cosine 3x dx. And then for the second integral, we can bring the 5 outside so that we have minus 5 integral of e to the negative 2x dx. You see what's going on here? Now we have a simple function as the integrand, cosine 3x. And then for the second integral, we have also a simple function, which is e to the negative 2x, an exponential function. So now what we need to do is to integrate this cosine of 3x. And then there is something that we need to worry about here, which is to reverse the chain rule when um, the chain rule tells us that when we differentiate a trig function with a linear expression in there, we need to multiply by um, the coefficient of this x. And then to reverse the chain rule, we actually need to multiply by the reciprocal of this number in front of the x so that we can cancel out that extra factor that we get. And so now when we integrate the cosine 3x, this 6 is being kept just in the front. Right. So now when we integrate the cosine, we first integrate the outer function. Don't worry about the inside yet. So we need to think about what function that we differentiate will give us the cosine. And that's sine. Right. So we have the sine right here. Now, it would be a good idea to leave some space in the front because we need to reverse the chain rule. OK, so what about the argument of the sine function, we actually need to keep the same argument. So don't change anything on the inside of the sine function. So just leave it as sine of 3x. OK. And then now we need to multiply. We need to multiply by the reciprocal of this coefficient of the x. In this case, the reciprocal of 3, it will be just 3, 1 over 3, right? 1 over 3. Yeah, not 3. Hmm. OK, so now that's good. And then now the second term. We have a minus 5 right here. So we get minus 5. And then now we need to worry about integrating the e to the negative 2x. For the exponential function, we are going to get the same function back. And then the idea of reversing the chain rule is exactly the same as how we deal with the trick function. And so we are going to just copy down this e to the negative 2x right here. And then again, leave some space in the front. 
So I copy down the function, and then I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal of the coefficient of the x. So the reciprocal of negative 2 is negative 1 over 2. And this time we will need the parentheses because we, if we do not keep um, put a pair of parentheses around the negative 1 over 2, um, the expression becomes negative 5 minus 1 half e to the negative 2 x. So, so that's not correct, right? So make sure that we put a pair of parentheses here to indicate that it's multiplication. And then, of course, there is the constant of integration that we are getting here. So we can just put the plus c. And then it will be a good idea to actually clean up the step. And then we are going to get, what do we get here? So let me see. So we have 6 times 1 over 3, right? You can do some canceling right here. The 3 becomes a 1. The 6 becomes a 2. So we are getting 2 and then sine of 3x. And then here, there was nothing to be canceled except the minus signs, right? So we are going to be getting plus 5 over 2, and then e to the negative 2x, and then plus the constant. And then that's our final answer. Hmm. And then for doing integration, you can actually check the answer by differentiating your answer and see if it will give you back the integrand. And so let's do a little bit of the checking right here. So let's say if I want to check. What I do is that I'm going to differentiate. My answer. OK, there, there is also the plus C here. So now let's see what's going on. So when we differentiate, we are going to just put down the 2 due to the constant multiple rule, right? We don't need to worry about the slumber. And then we are going to differentiate the sine, which will give us cosine. And then you do not change anything that's inside the sine, uh, the sine function, so we still get the 3x inside the cosine. And then now we need to multiply by the derivative of the inside, which will give us, what is that? That's going to be times 3. Okay. Then continue with the um, differentiation here. We are going to, again, we are going to just put the 5 over 2 right here. And then when we differentiate the e to the negative 2x, we are going to get e to the negative 2x. And then what do we need to multiply? We need to multiply by the derivative of negative 2x, which is negative 2. And then when we differentiate the constant, it's going to give us 0. So that's plus 0 here. OK, so now we can clean up our expression. So we are going to get 3 times 2, so we have 6 cosine 3x. And then right here, we have the 2 and then the negative 2. So for the 2 and the negative 2, we are going to have the 2 becomes a 1, the 2 becomes a 1 here, and then, but of course, there is a minus sign, right? So we are going to get minus 5e to the negative 2x. And then we don't need to put the 0 anymore. So now let's just compare we get exactly the same thing as the integrand. And so that's that means our answer is correct for the integral. OK, so that's it for this problem. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel and then give me some support. And then also, please check out my other videos <clears throat> for differentiation or for integration. There are other videos that may interest you or help you, and then do better in your class. And then also please subscribe to my channel. And then thank you for watching. I will see you next time.